When I started looking for a job, because I had decided that I wanted to live in Mexico, that there were many things Mexico offered me that money couldn't buy. Two cultures, two languages for my children. And the experience of wandering over a, a culture based on thousands of years of development. And the first time someone looking for a job became my job. And the first time, and I all, you wore a hat and gloves at that point, and high heels and the whole thing. Mexico was very formal. And so whenever they would interview me, and they didn't have a job right then and there, I would say, well, thank you very much, but if you, and if you ever need a substitute, I'm perfectly willing to come in as a substitute periodically. When I suddenly realized that, that the person interviewing me said, yes, I think we can use you. I'd like to offer you a job. And I sat down and said, what did you say? And he said, well, we have a very good English teacher, Mariana Yampolsky. But right now, she's traveling in Germany with some of her students, a trip abroad. And we do need a top flight English teacher. And I, being American, he was, your English is top flight. Um, yes, I'll give you a job. So I started teaching, and it was quite interesting because I didn't even know that Mexicans used the mother's last name, and I couldn't figure out my role call very clearly. And they got annoyed with me, and they said, well, what, you know, why are you having so much trouble? We explained all of this in the meeting. And I thought for a minute, and I said, yes, but you explained the meeting in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish yet. Well, Mariana came back from the trip, and I thought, well, I better start looking for a job. But they decided they could use both of us, and Mariana and I became great friends. And I, we actually spent our first Christmas in Mexico at her mother's house in, the, in Cuauhtémoc. And Mariana was doing a wonderful book on living artisans for one of the major banks to use as a Chris, Christmas present, not for sale, and was traveling all over the country taking photos, and invited me to go with her. And we had many an adventure, including a sleeping on the floor of Chosos in, in different parts of the country, wading across rivers, sometimes on a burro, sometimes in a Land Rover. And um, we, got to go to many small villages and at a certain point Mariana uh, w and I were going to go to a small village that could only be reached from Veracruz by canoe. There was no bridge at that time, there is now, Tlacotalpan. And at the last minute she couldn't go and so I had to go with another photographer. And we did very well, the pictures came out. But the adventures with Mariana were very real because she had a wonderful way with everyone. And the people opened up to her and we learned so much about the people in the villages. And among the things that happened though was Mariana bought her first car. And so I was giving her driving lessons. And she was doing pretty well. But on the street where I lived in the Zona Rosa, she had parked, parallel parked, and when she started to go home, she backed up instead of going forward and she went into the light post. And her first remark was, don't tell my mother, which made me laugh because Mrs. Yampolsky had, um, was directly from, I guess, Poland or Germany, and we were all little children for her whenever she invited us for lunch at her dinner at her house. And so we were very careful of Mrs. Yampolsky. We all called her that way. <laughs> so 
And then there were other incidents where we were just wandering around and having adventures in different towns.